Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shiloh's Updates. Top 5 Project Topics in Civil Engineering What are all those project topics? Precasting and erection of concrete elements Failure of foundation due to earthquake Retrofitting on existing building Flyish concrete payment Geopolymer concrete Let's see about the first project topic Precasting and erection of concrete elements for buildings, bridges and flyover Recently, there has been increased interest in constructing buildings, bridges, flyovers and other structures that last longer or less expensive and which takes less time to construct. This idea is to generally increase the cost effectiveness of structures by increasing their durability and by minimizing the disruptions to the traveling public. There may be many ways to achieve more durable, less expensive and rapidly constructed structures. However, the most commonly discussed idea currently is precasting and erection of concrete elements. This type of construction has the advantage that the individual components or manufactured off-site where increased quality is usually achieved. Further, because much of the work is constructed away from the construction site, public or user disruptions are minimized since the amount of labor intensive on site work is reduced, which leads to reduced on site construction time. This project scope includes the following task Design of substructure and superstructure. Inspection and documentation of the fabrication. Verification of design assumption for the box girders. Laboratory testing to confirm the adequacy of the box girder. Evaluation of in situ structural performance under live loads. This is the abstract and scope of this project topic. The second topic is failure of foundation due to earthquake. As we know that shaking due to seismic waves causes damages to buildings. This damages may be influenced by the characteristic of soil in the affected area. The objective of this project topic is to show the effect of earthquake on different types of foundations such as shallow foundation, mat or raft foundation, deep foundations like pile foundation and structures like arch dam, gravity dam etc. The reaction of soil to the loading of the building when a building undergoes an earthquake disturbance is called soil structure interaction. In seismic regions where kinematic interactions have been observed the mat foundation experiences overturning movements. Pile foundations are influenced by both kinematic and inertial interactions which causes many failures. However, the civil engineers that is geotechnical engineers can incredibly enhance the structure that how the structure and foundation together react to the seismic waves. This is the abstract and scope of this project topic. The third topic, project topic is retrofitting and its advantages on existing building. What is retrofitting? Retrofitting is a method of modifying or repairing something after it has been created or manufactured. Retrofitting work includes changing or repairing the structure system after its construction and occupation. This work results in increased safety and durability of the structure. Why retrofitting is done? Retrofitting of buildings is required for homes that are affected by 
failures and damages due to seismic forces. Retrofitting of RCC structural members is carried out to regain the strength of deteriorated structural concrete elements. The main goal of retrofitting is to stabilize the current structure of buildings and make them earthquake resistant. Most common method of retrofitting a building are adding new shear wall, mass reduction technique, adding steel bracing, epoxy injection method, base isolation technique, external plate bonding, wall thickening technique. Next important topic is fly ash concrete payment. Fly ash is an important ingredient used for the production of cement based materials like concrete, mortar etc. One primary application of fly ash is concrete payment construction where a certain percentage of cement is replaced with fly ash to provide significant economic benefits. The application of fly ash in concrete payment dates back to more than 2000 years. Canada used to construct its roadways and highways using fly ash in the early 50s and 60s. They were constructed in every type of climate without any constraints. Fifth important topic is geopolymer concrete. Geopolymer concrete is an innovative and eco-friendly construction material and an alternative to Portland cement concrete. Use of geopolymer reduces the demand of Portland cement and which is responsible for high CO2 emission that is carbon dioxide emission. Geopolymer cement concrete is made from utilization of waste materials such as fly ash and ground granulated blast furnace slag that is GGBS. These are the abstract and scope of the project topics. I have given just a hint of this project topic and you have to explore it. I believe that this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. Click the bell icon and also click on so that my updates will directly come in your notification box. Share this videos to your friends and families and do support Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. If you want engineer quotation for house construction free PDF, you can check the procedure in the description box. And if you have any doubt, you can email. My mail ID is shilosupdates at gmail.com. Thank you.